Hi guys, it's Vivian the Psalm Next Door and we are gonna be doing an unboxing with my new wine fridge. I know, I have another one. Guy Lafour has sent me a lovely compressor dual zone wine cooler. Ooh. First thoughts, it's a little bit more manual. I need to put this handle on this door. And according to the instructions, I should have received two screws, a washer and flat. I can't find it. And I've scoured every single nook and cranny. I wish I could just like stick it on. You know, like an Ikea, you can just like hammer it in, but I don't think that's recommended. Going into this fridge, it is a 28 bottle wine cooler. And I do like that these have wooden um, shelves that can kind of go halfway out. So that's kind of nice. There's less uh, screeching with the bottles when you put those in. We're gonna, of course, test to see that it does fit 28 bottles. And unlike some of my other wine fridges, this is a dual temperature. So you're able to set one area, one temperature, another area for white and reds. Height, like I was saying, is pretty tall, 34 inches. Depth, 24.4 inches. And width, 14.8 inches. Tempered glass and also UV protected. Let me figure out the door handle situation. But other than that, I mean, that looks really pretty, right? This is the side of it, kind of just black and whatever. I figured out how to put on this handle. So <laughs> there is a little screw behind, I should have done this, but like I didn't want to like peel this back, but Back here, come hither. There is a screw here, and you're supposed to take the little screwdriver thingy, Bobby, that they gave you, and screw this here and down here. Was it complicated? No, but is it more work than the other two wine fridges that I reviewed? Yes. The other doors, they have a handle on the side of their door, kind of like built in, but since this one sticks out, there's an extra step. So I'm going to now plug this in. All right, so currently it says 5454. Okay, so the, it looks, seems like the upper zone can get a lot cooler. The upper zone, I guess this is meant for white wine because it's it was easier to make this number smaller and this number greater. That was kind of weird. I don't know why this camera makes it seem like it's flashing, but it's not from my perspective. It... I am slightly confused because it started out as 45 to 50 degrees and I don't think it's already there. I think I'm gonna give it 20 minutes, just like the other fridges. From what I hear right now, pretty quiet. When we open it, yes, you can hear that fan going. Ooh, 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 I just turned on the light. Ooh, we got different colors. White? blue and orange i don't know why but that's kind of fun i'm gonna wait 20 minutes and then we're gonna do our test to see if 28 bottles can fit into here as it is said hello we're back i got a note for the producer so it is necessary that the top upper portion so the left number is lower than the right because the fan is on top so just naturally the top area is going to be cooler makes sense so also like what i've noticed like this has the largest gap this also has a larger larger gap so if you have 
champagne bottles or larger California bottles, I think that would probably make the most sense. And I was kind of looking at the guide and they recommend, so there's five racks, five times five, 25, and they assume that you put three on the bottom. So that'd be 28. I have 28 bottles here and I did not bring out any of my Riesling bottles. Um, none of these are sparkling wines. So if these don't fit, not, not a good sign. Let's do this. Oh, so deep. Do you see how far that went in? Look, you still, like this is all the way, well, this is all the way in and it still has like a good amount of space. And I think that is because they want you to go like this. Okay, so this is five. Maybe the really, the fatter ones need to be on the bottom. So in order for this to work, yes, you have to push these all the way front. Now we have 10, 15. Last eight. Now I realize you really have to be choosy about what goes into what area. Twenty five. And then I have my last three, which are my fatter bottles. How do I do it? Like this? Okay. 28 bottles. Now, there was some finagling. The best areas for the really fat bottles are down here. I did not try Riesling size bottles. You know what? I have one, so. Give me a second. Let me go get it. Ta -da, na -na. Okay. Now, the circumference of the bottle, I am not really concerned about. What I'm really more concerned about is like, will it fit? But you know, it was really long. So I really don't like think that it was a, much of a problem. Oh, actually, the Riesling bottle was very, very easy, spacious. And I do think this is much easier than the other way where the wine bottles are this way. I have to take all the wines out to get to the one in the back. In this case, you only had to take out like max one bottle to get to the bottle that you want. So in that sense, access to your wines is much easier I do like wood. I was telling you that. I do prefer wood over the metal wire and lat racks. I am not really sure if I do like though is that I don't know what temperature it really actually is at. Because with the other fridges, if you open the door or do whatever, then the temperature will increase and you will know. In this case, I'm just going based off my set temperatures. I mean, I can feel inside that it is cool, but I can't really tell consistency wise, like, is it where it needs to be? So that's like my only down thing about it. And also the handle, which took me a while to figure out. But other than that, um, I really do prefer this design of the shelves than the other ones. This was a little bit easier like to finagle, maybe because it was wooden shelves. I don't know, I think wooden shelves give a little bit more than wire shelves. Just like with all my other reviews, I'm gonna wait a couple of days, see what happens, but so far so good. That was like probably the easiest one to get in the number of bottles that they said. Now, mind you, I did not do champagne bottles. Again, like I feel like that, that would have to be on the very bottom or very top, but it might, impact how many wine bottles that you're able to get in here just like with all the other wine bottle um, or wine fridge capacities they'll say bordeaux size bottles 
So it's been about a week since I've gotten my Calafour wine fridge and it's been very, very quiet. I'm very happy about the noise level. Haven't really noticed it. As you can see, I haven't moved it. This is not its permanent home because I still have my Ivation and wine enthusiast wine fridge. But I kind of just want to give you my final thoughts on this fridge. So things that I like. So this was a, it was advertised as a 28 bottle wine fridge. And I do think that this is pretty true to size. Unlike the wine enthusiast that was like, hey, we're gonna do 36 bottles or what was it, 34 bottles or whatever. That was more like a 28 size fridge. And you know, to be honest, it's very similar in size as the wine enthusiast one, except like this one's like deeper, the, the wine enthusiast is wider. So one thing I do like is that this is true to size. And I think because the wire racks in the wine enthusiast are really, really tight together, but this one has a lot more space at the very top of these two racks which I really appreciate, even the bottom one too. So there's three racks that are pretty spacious for fatter bottles. Um, I also liked that for Riesling bottles, it went pretty well inside. And I kind of do like the wooden, the wooden racks just a slight bit more than the metal ones. Just like the sound of like glass on metal. It's not as pleasant. It also, th I feel like it gives a little bit more than the metal racks. So those are the things I do like about this is that it's quiet, true to size, and also that the wood racks are really nice. Things that I did not really like, it tells you what temperature you set it at. I kind of like with my other fridges is that I can see the fluctuations it doesn't really bother me that much, but like the manufacturer has told me, the top is cooler than the bottom. Does that really matter? Not really. It's like you could, if you want to make this like all cooler, if, if you have more whites than reds. Overall, it I really liked this wine fridge. I think it's very sleek looking, just looks nice, would look great. Um, in your entertaining space. Perfect for a under the counter installation. If you guys are looking for a fridge, this might be the one. So check out down my link below and you guys can get 10% off on your order. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this wine fridge or if you guys have this wine fridge already. If you like this video, please give that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more wine content. And I don't have a glass, but I'll catch you guys later.